patients expect hospitals to be a safe place, where doctors and nurses are critical of the care they provide. But there's a new snapshot tonight of a rise in what's called hospital harms, unintended events that affect patients. Here's CTV's Garrett Barry on those who are most vulnerable. The Canadian Center for Health Information has been tracking what they call hospital harms for years. Things like bed sores, falls, and urinary tract infections that happen inside hospitals where patients expect to be safe. Part of our analysis did look at the hospitalization costs and found that patients who do experience um, harm when in hospital, the cost is four times higher than an average hospital stay. This latest report, for the first time, tried to find out who is most vulnerable in hospital rooms. According to data, patients who don't speak English or French are 30% more likely to suffer a hospital harm. Patients who haven't achieved a high school diploma are also at greater risk, 20% more likely than others, to get hurt inside hospital. The results were not necessarily surprising per se. Um, the reason why we did this analysis was to bring a focus to equity and patient safety as key dimensions of healthcare quality so that um, hospitals or health regions would be able to identify areas for improvement. For patient safety advocate Kathleen Finley, it's sadly no surprise. She started an advocacy journey 15 years ago when her mother was hurt inside a hospital. It was the after the trauma that all these medical errors, medication errors, just one after another that really not only prolonged her hospital stay, but actually really inhibited her recovery. Now, 15 years later, she's living it again through a brother. They found a mass um, in his uh, kidney area, and it was quite large. Um, the radiologist flagged it for follow-up. But they didn't follow up. Nobody told us about it. Finley says healthcare in Canada needs a lot of work, including a big push by decision makers to keep vulnerable patients safe. Gare Perry, CTV News, St. John's.